Hey, what's up, Amelia here. Let's see what's coming up on today's show. Toilet training cows. The glitz and glamour of the Met Gala. And look what someone found down a drain. But before we get to all that, make sure you hit subscribe. Researchers in Germany have started toilet training cows. Yes, really. Why? To save the planet, obviously. Leela gets to the bottom of it. It could help save the planet. Toilet training cows. It sounds like a joke when you say it out loud, but cow pee can cause all kinds of environmental problems. If it gets into soil, it can go on to pollute waterways. It can also be converted into nitrous oxide, a dangerous greenhouse gas. That might not sound like a big deal, but a single cow can produce 30 litres of urine a day, and there are a billion cows in the world. The solution? Mulu, an astroturf-covered pen for cows to do their business in instead. Behavioural scientists have already successfully toilet trained 11 out of 16 cows to use it. They use a reward system to get the cows to push through a designated gate to go number one. And afterwards, they got a sweet liquid treat. If the cows urinated outside, they got a squirt of cold water. All up, it took just 15 days for the cows to learn to go potty. The thing that's really surprising here is how quickly the cows learn relative to children. You go, cows. Now, what do all of these people have in common? Answer? They look amazing. They glammed up for this year's Met Gala, which is basically the Oscars of fashion. It's a fundraiser for the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York City, and it's attended by everyone who's anyone, basically. Among this year's hosts, Timothy Chalamet, Billie Eilish, Amanda Gorman, and Naomi Osaka. And it returns this year after being canceled because of the pandemic last year, like everything else. While the night's known for some bold fashion choices, little Nas X literally outshone the rest. You could even say he set the gold standard. Do you think you've got what it takes to be an Olympian? If so, now might be your big chance. Diving Australia is looking for the next generation of champion divers for the 2032 Brisbane Olympics. Here's ML. Flexible, strong, and a whole lot of grit. According to Diving Australia, those are just some of the things it takes to be a great diver. Now they're on the lookout for the next generation for the 2032 Brisbane Olympics. Trying to find athletes who have really specific talent to get through, but also find kids who just love diving. So far, more than 200 kids in Brisbane have given it a go. It seems a lot like a lot of fun, but also a lot of stress. But I hope I get in because then I'll feel lucky. They have to get through a whole bunch of different exercises. And jump as high as we can. Do strength, chin-ups, leg lifts. They'll be narrowed down to a group of about 40. And from there, the group gets even smaller and then the work begins. Our athletes do sort of six to eight in the morning before school and then another three hours after school. That might sound like a lot, but these guys are still pretty keen. Some days when you're having like a lot of fun, um, the years just whiz by. So hopefully it's like that. The end goal is an Olympic debut. So remember these faces because you might be seeing them bringing home gold in the 2032 Olympics. Now to stories about confused animals and somewhat confused humans trying to make it together in this big old world. It's Let's Be Friends, maybe? Can a man and a four metre long reptile be friends? Yes, according to this tour guide in the Amazon swamps of Bolivia, who's befriended this caiman now named Jesus. A caiman is kind of like an alligator, but not. And this one's gotten pretty comfy with its human visitor. Jesus even allows pats now and then, but maybe not too often. This massive boa constrictor might have been looking for a friend when it was spotted in a neighbourhood in New York City. It obviously didn't want to be friends with humans though because it hid in this storm drain for three hours before a snake catcher fished it out. Hmm, hopefully it found a nice snake friend in its new home somewhere else. And meet Harley, the very patient emu, and his little friend, Bill. 
Bilbo the Lamb. They live in the Great Dividing Range in New South Wales and have struck up quite the friendship. Although it looks like Bilbo likes cuddles a little more than Harley does. Well, that's the news for now. But before you go, you know what I'm gonna say? Just do it, hit subscribe. Thanks.